Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian and who doesn't love a good solar panel review video? So today we're going to be taking a very quick look at this offering from Rofi. Now what makes this solar panel special in my eyes, I guess, is that it is extremely light for a 200 watt solar panel. This thing comes in at around 12 and a half pounds. I've got a couple of 100 watt solar panels that weigh more than that. So this thing is very, very lightweight. It's very, very thin, but we'll go over that in just a second. But it's coming in right now on Amazon at $320 with a coupon. Regular price is $399. I checked this morning and there is an $80 off coupon. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but you can get this thing for 320 bucks, again, for a 200 watt solar panel. It is IP67 waterproof, and it does have the ETFE coating on the actual solar panels to kind of help protect it, and I'll show that to you here in just a second. And it is a monocrystalline solar panel. But just for starters, like most solar panels, you're gonna have this little zipper bag right up here in the front, and it doesn't have really any kind of that rubber sealing, that rubber gasket that I do have on a couple of my solar panels, but again, it's rated for IP67. You fold that open, and you get a pretty robust charging adapter so it's got your mc4 connectors to a whole bunch of different type of barrel connections and xt60 and anderson so you're gonna be able to hook this up straight out of the box to most of your power stations and you're also going to get around a 10 foot connected mc4 cable that you're going to use to connect this adapter to so you're going to just hook up like this and now the solar panel can be hooked up to any type of power station to input the wattage. There's no USB-C, there's no USB-A type ports. It is just simply a solar panel that you attach to a power station or a battery source or whatever you're going to use to run a solar panel with. And this whole thing is kind of held together by magnets, not by Velcro. So the handle's got a magnet built into it and it just kind of snaps in place. And you can fold it open, and I'm, I'm going to run out of room here, but let's try it this way to get you folks a measurement. So opened end to ends, you're looking at 87 inches long and 24 inches, I guess, tall. And when you fold it up, again, it's got the kind of magnet closure, and it does have adjustable legs that are held together with a snap, which I kind of like. Sometimes that Velcro on some of these solar panels are so very hard to rip apart to get these, thing, to get these legs open, but just a simple snap and you've got your adjustable feet. So I'm gonna take this thing outside. Enough of the specs, that's boring. Let's see what we can get pulled out of the solar panel. It is already 90 degrees outside. So in case you folks don't know anything about solar panels, you think that when it's hot and super sunny, these are gonna put off the most power. Well, that's not necessarily true. The hotter it is, the least efficient these solar panels are. So, kinda take the results with a grain of salt, but let's take it outside and see what we can get. So here's kind of a prime example of not perfect conditions. It was sunny 30 minutes ago and we are almost completely overcast and I'm getting around 88 to 90 watts input from the solar panel right now. So that's about half of the of the rated output, but again, terrible conditions right now. So this is kind of real world. You're not ever gonna get perfect conditions. So I'm gonna wait to see if these clouds kind of break up here a little bit later this afternoon and see if we can get a little bit more squeeze out of that sun but uh, right now yeah we're getting about 100 watts with literally no sun peeking through and here you can get a really good example of just how thin the solar panel is i mean it's it's a 16th of an inch thick all the way down and that etfe coating which is really going to help protect these solar panels but yeah Guys, let me wait and see if that sun's gonna come out a little bit more to get a better reading. Okay, gang, well, we're getting, well, we were up to about 150, 145 watts. The clouds are coming back in. As you can see, we've got tons of clouds today. Uh, in fact, we've had this scenario for about the last week. 
have not had any good really prime conditions to test out the solar panel so again this kind of reflects real world conditions and right now i'm getting you know back down to 50 48 watts here comes the sun let's see what we're going to get up to 160 watts 167 watts so almost 170 watts off of a day that looks like this outside. So um, that's actually pretty impressive in my opinion because we've got a lot of, of cloud coverage. And we got some more clouds coming in. And we are at 160 watts now if that is showing up. I apologize, but uh, you might just have to take my word for it. 144 watts, 140 watts. Uh, yeah, clouds are coming back in, back down to 95 watts. Um, so overall, you know, this is rated at a 200 watt solar panel. And for me to see almost 170 watts off of this panel, with this condition, very, very large amounts of clouds up there in the sky. And I'd say that's a pretty good that's a pretty good output for this solar panel and you know again folks I've got quite a few 200 watt solar panels and this is so thin and so lightweight this one is actually um, I can actually see myself putting this in my truck to use it um, out on the you know when we take the RV or even when I go camping because it's so much easier to move around than some of my other bigger 200 watt panels so with that being said um, I think it might be a pretty decent little solar panel. And we got quite a bit of sun coming in now. Let's see what we're pulling. 138 watts. 150. Um, yeah, and I apologize if you guys can't even see that screen. But, but uh, overall, it's doing pretty well. And I will say, I thought that this DC cord was 10 feet long. I was wrong. It might be 5 feet long. So, it would probably be a good option to get some MC4 extensions. Maybe 5 or 10, uh, 10 foot extension cables. Because I thought this was longer than it was. And I was wrong about that. So, that's the only thing that I see with this solar panel that I would, uh, I would like to see improved on. Is having a longer DC cable. But other than that. I think it's 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 performing really really well uh, given today's conditions. So anyway, gang, here's my review of the Rofi 200 watt solar panel. Thanks for watching.